the Thrifty Southerner, back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope you all had a great week. I had a great week. Found quite a few things this week, which I'm really excited about. Did a thrift with me that I believe I put up either yesterday or the day before yesterday. So you saw a couple of the things that I got in that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm trying to also did a jewelry jar unjarring, a live video a few days ago as well. So I'm trying to get more content up now that we're settled. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Also wanted to recommend, I sound like a broken record, but I'm trying to say it in all my videos so people can hear it. If you like a YouTuber and you want to know when they upload a video, you need to go in and hit the notification bell. Because even though you're subscribed for whatever reason, and it's happening to me with my subscriptions too, I am not, it, they're not showing up in my newsfeed. And I'll go in and I'll think, I haven't, those people haven't put out a video in a long time. And I'll, I'll search their name and there's a new video. But it wasn't in my news feed. It wasn't in my subscription feed. So go in, click the bell on any YouTubers that you really don't want to miss their videos. And of course, I highly suggest you do it for me too. Um, and if you're not subscribed, I would also love to have you as a subscriber. All right, you guys, if you're interested in any of these items, you can... Join my Facebook group. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. When you ask about an item, please also give me your state so I can tell you the price of the item and shipping cost. First person to give me their email address will get the item. All right, you guys, let's get started. I almost forgot, if you're not a Facebooker, you can email me. I will leave my email in the description box below as well. But just so you know, the quickest, fastest way to get the item that you want is via my Facebook group. Okay, now let's get started. I'm going to start off with the items that I am keeping for myself and or my family. I don't know why. Every time I move, this keeps trying to focus. So, I don't know what's going on with that. But, uh, hopefully that will stop. Okay. Only one thing we're keeping for ourselves. My husband actually claimed this. He really liked the look of it. And it is a vintage Brahmin key fob. I cleaned it, but it's still a little dirty. I need to probably clean it again. Um, it is authentic. And I got it for, it was marked four, and I got it for two. Because everything in this store was half price. Okay, I'm going to do these small things so I do not forget. I went into a consignment store, and they were actually going out of business. So all of her stuff was like 75% off. And then some stuff was a dollar. So I was digging through her jewelry and I found the, actually my daughter found these two pieces and they're really pretty. She's got them hooked together because they do have the same initials on them. They are sterling silver. Here is the necklace, I mean the pendant and it's marked sterling 925. I'm sure you guys cannot see that. And then here is the beautiful bracelet that is also marked Sterling 925 Mexico. Um, I did a little research. I assumed you could, but I wanted to make sure I did some research. It is very, very easy to buff or have someone like a jeweler buff these initials off. And then you can reinitial them or leave it blank or do whatever you want. So, for two bucks, these were a dollar a piece. Can't beat it. Then the other thing I got for a dollar from her is this sweet sterling. Okay, I cannot get this to focus. So this is as good as I can get. It is a CZ in the sterling and it's set in one of those full settings that goes all the way around the stone. It's really, really pretty. Also got that for a dollar. And I... And then I saw this next item and I thought to myself, that looks like gold. And I asked her how much it was and she said, oh, that's gold, but I'll let you have it for a dollar. And I thought, okay. So I haven't tested it yet, but I'm pretty sure that it's unmarked gold. And then she confirmed that that was the case. So I don't know. There you go. So, I'm going to test it. Oh. Oh, no. I thought it had a marking on it, but it doesn't. Anyway, I'm going to test it for a buck. What have I got to lose? See, it wants to focus, but then when I try to put stuff in front of it, it doesn't want to focus. So annoying. 
Anyway, moving right along. I got a jewelry bag, so I will be doing either a live or I may film it. I don't know. Do you guys like the live videos? I know this last live video I did at 5 o'clock and it just wasn't... Oh, I see. Autofocus is on. Let me see if I can... Hey! I think, okay, I think I figured it out. Autofocus is on. Let's see if that helps. Okay. Anyway, I want to know, do you guys like the live jewelry videos or do you want me to just film them and then put them up? Let me know. Here's the jewelry bag. Got this at the Goodwill where I got the Rebecca Mink off. I didn't film this part because I was checking out. And if you watch my Thrift With Me video. And so I just bought this as I was at the front. I don't see anything very exciting in it. And I've never gotten a jewelry jar or bag from that place before. But it was $30.03 and it happened to be half off. So I got it for $15.01 whatever half of that is and it's still doing the autofocus thing i'm sorry i don't know so anyway i'll be opening that sometime soon y'all let me know what you like also if you watched my video on the thrift with me you would see that i did go ahead and pick up this really nice brighton let's see there we go the sides really nice really really nice and the inside is a little bit the inside's a little dingy but it's not bad again I don't have the right area to wash those kind of things anymore my sink is not big enough so I would sell that you know acknowledging that that was a little dirty and the price would reflect that it's beautiful though really soft leather brighton makes beautiful purses speaking of brighton i got a second one which i don't think i showed in the video because i found it right at the end this is more of a vintage one it's borderline on a crossbody it's really probably a longer shoulder bag could be a crossbody for someone who's like five foot or five one. Other than that, it's going to just be a long shoulder purse. Um, I mentioned this in all my videos where I talk about Brighton. Brighton is sterling silver plated. This cleans up. All of those black marks will go away. You just need silver polish. Okay. All right. Paid Three and four. I didn't say how much I paid for those. Three dollars and four dollars. Okay, also at that consignment store, I got this guy for a dollar as well. It was on a dollar rack. It is fossil. It is newest tag. Super cute. Little shoulder bag. I don't know why it's got a knot in it, but anyway. It's a little straw shoulder bag and this natural fi fabric like that fiber basket weave type stuff is very in this year so it's still got its fossil paper in it and there's the inside so it's just a cute little summer bag all right next thing I got for 55 cents and I got this like week before last but then I, I didn't do a video for fourth of july so i held on to it this uh thrift store that i usually get this at they usually mark their stuff up high and they did they have like stuff behind a counter and literally none of it was leather but they had this out for 55 cents so i was like whatever it is coach i don't know if you guys can see it's like a little pochette well evening bag and focus focus and uh, super cute it is authentic oh I got it for 75 cents I'm sorry 75 cents even so beautiful it does I want to say I thought it had it's got a couple of little spots um I don't know. Can you guys 
guys see it's got a little bit of darkness there and a little darkness i don't think it's really showing up it's really hard to see there's a couple little spots on the bottom just from where next is this whiting and davis i believe that's what it's called whiting and davis whiting and davis vintage purse also you saw me got you saw me got that you saw me get this it's in pristine condition clutch these are collectible I looked it up. I recognized the name. I thought it sounded like a name that I should recognize, and it was. Okay, you guys also saw me get this, if you watched the thrift with me. It is beautiful. This is a Rebecca Minkoff. It looks almost brand new, you guys. It has no wear. It, it's got the long strap really nice. It gets thicker over the shoulder. So this part right here, it does have a front zip pocket that you would get to by unhooking this. But then you unsnap and there's the inside. I'm telling you guys, it looks new. All right. So that is the Rebecca Minkoff gorgeous color for fall. And lastly, this, oh, I paid $15.53, I think, for that Rebecca Minkoff. And I also paid, I think I paid $18 for this one. I kind of paid up, but I think it's beautiful, and it's very unique, and bucket bags are super in right now. So, it is a Patricia Nash bucket bag, distressed leather, distressed on purpose. See how some parts of it are darker and lighter than other parts? Again, that is a purposeful distress, distression, distressment. What's the word? Here's your Patricia Nash logo. Oh, it has a back pocket. You can slip your cell phone in. And here's the interior. It's in excellent, excellent condition. And it's large too, so. Let's see if I can give you a comparison. Um, there's the Rebecca Minkoff, there's that bag. Long shoulder strap, could be worn as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. All right, you guys, that was my haul. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, let me know if you want me to do a live video for that jewelry jar or that jewelry bag or if you want me to just film it and upload it, or if you don't care. Um, it's just hard for me to wait to open those, so if I do a live, like I can't do a live today because I'm uploading this video today, and like, so um, if I can't wait, I'll just film it and upload it in a couple of days. Okay, you guys, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.